Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson. Welcome back to another Vectinate video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create a flat landscape. And it was inspired by a post that I saw on Instagram. We're going to be doing this inside of Vectinator, who are sponsoring this video. If you don't know, Vectinator is a free design software. It's all about vector design. You can design logos, illustrations. It's very powerful. It's got a lot of functionality. They are always updating this app and it's hilarious how many times you update it and you see some amazing new updates such as the new brush tool and also being able to use the pencil tool. There's so many things that are happening. If you want to know the colors that I'm using, I've put all the hex codes down in the description so you can use the same colors, but feel free to use any of your choice. What we're really doing is using a purple and using different tones of that purple to create depth. So the first thing that I'm gonna be working on with the pencil tool is getting the stroke right. So I wanna make sure I've got my smoothness up. I'm gonna use about 60 or 70% smoothness. What this allows me to do is get some smooth lines when I'm in here, because we're just doing this freehand today. Now we're gonna start at the back. So we're gonna start off with the last mountains at the back or the last hills. So we're gonna choose the lightest color for that in the purple. So I'm gonna to go to this one. And what I'm generally going to do is it's a bit of trial and error, but I'm going to be creating these shapes. And what these shapes do is it gives it that cool sort of look of the background. And the reason why we're starting at the back is because I don't wanna be changing the layer order all the time. So what I can start to do is add in more of these, then change the color. And basically we're gonna be going through this like this, just using random shapes that look kind of good all the way around and you'll start to see that it will build up as we go through this we're just sort of mirroring it from the background if you start making mistakes don't worry just you know sort of move things around it is vector so you've got all these points that you can move around if you want to be more precise you can use the pen tool or just increase the smoothness we're going to start going down to the darker colors here using my pencil tool as well I'm just overlapping these white areas here, just like so. The cool thing about Vectinator is that you can come off the artboard and it will show like that. I'm gonna start creating more areas around here to create more visual interest because it is just very much bubbling all the way around. I'm just going to keep playing with these lines. Create some depth here. If you wanna change the layer order, go to the uh, Arrange tool and just send this to the back or bring forward so we get it into the right position. And all I'm doing is doing a bit of trial and error. I can change the colors after I've done this. I can just move this around, change some of the different dark colors, lighter colors. You can really go as hilly as you want, but for this time, I'm just going to stick with this. Now we've got all of these. I wanna go ahead and do what I like to do, which is just lock that layer and create a new one on the top. That way, if I try to click this or tap anything, it's not going to work very well. The next thing I want to do on this new layer is create some trees. Trees are really easy to create, kind of like the whole Bob Ross thing. Create some happy trees. And let's paint several little happy trees. Draw a square, make that the darkest color. We want the darker colors to be in the foreground of the image. If they're not in the foreground, it kind of looks a bit weird. So we create the dark trunk here. We're gonna create this low poly tree, which is a really neat way of doing it. Go to this little hexagon tool, make sure you've got three sides and just bring out this triangle. Vectinate to make it very easy for you to edit this triangle. We're gonna bring that to the bottom. Press this button and it will automatically duplicate that up for you. Just make that a bit smaller. Repeat once more. Make that a bit smaller. Select all of them and go to the Arrange tab and we can press Group as well. And then we can start to resize this a little bit. This is the great thing about Vector. You can just select, resize and move it. It feels more blocky than anything else that's rasterized. We're gonna select this, duplicate it again over here. And then we're gonna make this a bit smaller. And we're also gonna change the color ever so slightly lighter in the background there. We can repeat this process and the further away you go, obviously the further down it should go so the, the smaller it should be. We just cre create some trees. I find this very relaxing. I feel like I should smack my iPad. Beat the devil out of it. Here we wash our brush with odorless thinner. Shake off the excess. <laughs> and just beat the devil out of it. 
that's that's the most fun part of this whole technique beating the devil out of my thousand pound iPad. <laughs> okay so the background is a bit too bright so what i'm going to do is actually create a new layer drag that to the back lock the first layer or the second layer with all those trees on it on the back i'm going to go ahead and create a shape so just get my square tool out at the back and it's going to be this color i believe yeah we'll do it in pink this pink looks quite nice and again same again we just lock that layer now we don't have to worry about selecting anything we don't want to select just above that background layer let's create some mountains we're going to use the pen tool for this just to get the straight lines just like so bring that all the way around change the color to this like gray you can even change the opacity of it if we so desire and that just gives us a cool background image to look at and again completely up to you how you do it you can always change these things move things around now from here you can create anything you want you can create like a sun you could put like a house in there and i mean the the whole point of this tutorial is to really show you you can do anything inside of vectinator including a quick sketch that looks professional you can even bring this into illustrator so guys i hope you did enjoy that video there are so many things i would love to see your very own options of it if you want to see where i first saw this style of landscape which is flat landscape and illustration then click the link in the description to find the guy but also vectinator is free if you want to do this just for fun you don't even need an apple pencil if you've got an iphone an ipad or a mac you can use vectinator it's completely free and you can do exactly what I've done here today and impress all your friends. So click the link in the description to get Vectinator today. You can actually bring it into other programs as well and edit it if you want to. But here are a few things. I've got a house, I've got more trees, I've got all these other places. If you liked this video and you wanna see more kind of videos where I talk about the vector side of illustrations, and how easy it is to actually illustrate in vector then make sure you let me know in the comments down below thanks for watching guys see you in the next video uh, goodbye i'd like to wish you happy painting and god bless my friend